Right. Make it really comfy for you and then maybe you'll snuggle in and then we can do the video. Yeah? Does that sound good? Hello friends. I'm currently sat in the living room on the floor with a big duvet and a very, very sleepy Roka. She is currently teething and so she's not very comfortable and she's wanting lots of hugs and lots of cuddles. So that is where I'm at and that is what she's getting. I wanted to come on today and talk about something that kind of falls into the field of compulsive productivity, which I very much believe is a part of and can be a part of the compulsive migratory movement element of an eating disorder. We live in a world where hustle and busyness and productivity is pushed upon us from all sorts of different angles in all sorts of different ways. And something that I often see, whether it's on YouTube or whether it's on Instagram, is stuff relating to morning routines. And classically, they always start at like five o'clock in the morning and it involves like 15 minutes of reading and this and that and making your bed and doing some kind of workout and doing this and then having and, and, and journaling and literally so much stuff. It's exhausting watching, let alone doing it. And I suppose I wanted to come on and make this video because when I was in a place where I was struggling with my eating disorder and there was an element of, for me very much, compulsive productivity, I felt like I needed to be doing something. I felt like that conveyor belt existence for me definitely involved just generally doing something. So it didn't always look like movement. It would absolutely and could absolutely look like cleaning or organising something or popping here or going there or doing some emails or writing something or journaling or always just like that conveyor belt of productivity. And I think that this is another area where societal messaging outside of eating disorders can exacerbate the eating disorder noise and reinforce that disorder driven drive to do and be busy. And I suppose I just wanted to come on and say it's really, really important that you get curious about where this is showing up and recognise it and challenge it. I like waking up at eight o'clock. That's like my 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 dream time. At the moment, it's a little bit earlier sometimes because of a certain someone, not naming anyone. Um, but eight o'clock is like my, it's my favourite time. I like eight. I like waking up without an alarm, ideally. Um, I definitely do not want to spend the first x many minutes of my day reading based a bit on a clock or journaling based on a clock and I definitely don't want to go out for a run at that point actually what I want to do is lie there for a bit and kind of wake up and then get up probably go to the loo brush my teeth and have breakfast and usually watch some dragon's den whilst I'm having breakfast because I I do love dragon's den <laughs> a lot um and that's kind of my morning routine. And I'm not sharing this in terms of the comparison of like what mine is compared to what yours is. What I'm sharing this for is just as a beacon of non-hustly, non-compulsive productivity, non-that-ness. I kind of want to just say like it's perfectly fine to just wake up and have breakfast and go to work. And I think sometimes, I know when I was in my eating disorder, this was definitely the case. Sometimes when you see people sharing all these morning routines and all these things that people are doing before it's even like six o'clock in the morning. And at the time, I think I would have looked at it with a, oh, why am I not doing that? Oh, should I be doing that? How can I do that? What can I do? To now I look at it and think, no, thank you. That is not for me in any way, shape or form. But I think it's important. I just wanted to say, like, it's OK. That is all right. You know, that is absolutely 100 percent OK. Listen to your body. Do your thing. Listen to what nurtures and nourishes yourself. Comparing yourself to toxic productivity, to hustle culture is just so draining and exhausting. I know when I had an eating disorder, compulsive productivity was a very real issue for me. And that actually seeing content like that, like the morning routines and the this and the that, and obviously we're very much specifically talking here about morning routines, but this 
is relevant to anything and everything all the way through the day, wherever that hustling productivity can come in, that content very much fanned the flames of my disordered productivity conveyor belt. And actually in recovery, I had to recognize that productivity as part of the disorder and challenge it. I had to make myself do nothing. I had to make myself have slow mornings, slow days. I had to make myself stop all of the time filling, you know, that I could be physically resting, but was I allowing myself to mentally be resting? Was I, was I being unproductive? You know, because you can be physically still and still be ticking those boxes in terms of being productive. And so I really had to challenge all of the ways that that compulsive element was showing up, both in terms of exercise, in terms of movement, but very, very much in terms of the productivity. And messages like this would have been helpful at that time, you know, to know that actually, no, you don't have to live your life like that. And also the fact that once I was free and I'd rewired my brain and I didn't have an eating so any longer, I didn't. And I don't want to live my life like that. But there are times when I'll wake up at four o'clock in the morning, mainly when I'm going on holiday. I wake up at four to get on a plane. You know, I'll wake up at four to get in a car to drive somewhere cool. I will do that. I might wake up at four on Christmas morning because it's Christmas and that's exciting. I might wake up or I did wake up. At, I don't know what time, but really early on the morning when we were collecting Roka because I was so excited. I just couldn't sleep. But every day, you know. And again, I'm not saying that anyone doing that is wrong, is this, is that. No, that's not what we're here to do. But I am just saying it is completely okay if that is not your vibe. And if you are in recovery and you recognise that compulsive productivity is a part of your eating disorder, then you need to proactively and intentionally challenge it in order to wipe the slate clean, in order to rewire back to neutral so that you can get curious about what your day and what your way of living is is best for you and how you want it to be and what you want your life to feel like and what time actually you like waking up. You have to do the rewiring in order to be able to get to a place where you can authentically explore those things. I really did want to come on and talk about this topic and I thought, you know what, while I'm sat here wrapped in a duvet, cuddling a puppy, that is a great thing for me to talk about. So I hope that that's been helpful. I recognise this is going to be a bit rambly. I do now have a new phone and a new setup. So I'm very excited to be able to hopefully have some better audio. Um, we'll see. We will see. But anyway, until the next time, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, have a wonderful day and I'll speak to you soon.